YouTube, it's Philo here, and today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the hardware of the Nintendo 64 console. So over here, I have uh, Nintendo 60 behind this thing here. Let me <clears throat> move this over. Oops. Oh, oops. Hold on. I have the Nintendo 64 console, and you can see. It says, let's see if it wants to focus, Nintendo 64 right there, it's not quite focused. There's an N logo that's like 3D, because this console was in, in 3D, kind of. So right here is the controller, and I'll show you guys, uh, I, I don't know how to set this thing so I can show you the controller, hold on. Hey YouTube, okay, so here's the controller. For the Nintendo 64, I had to do it this way because I don't have a tripod with me right now. Here's the joystick. You can move this around to go in like directions and stuff. These buttons usually don't do anything. This is the red button and the green and the blue buttons. And there's four yellow buttons. And there's also buttons on the top, the left and the right buttons. And there's a trigger button. I also have a memory card in here. But... It's, that's the memory card. It says memory card on it. Um, great. So now that we've seen what the controller is like, let's take a look at the actual console. So right now in the actual console, um, I have the game Iron Man Charges Heroes. And I'll pull that out first just to show you what a, a cartridge for this system looks like. I keep my cartridges in cart, carts in good condition. They all work for the most part. Um, the actual game is inside of this plastic thing. And if you look on the console, let me pull it out here for a second. Move this stuff out of the way. Um, it looks like it's just a flat surface. How can games get in there? Well, if you actually push on it, it opens up and there's a thing that you can put games in there. Now, you want to make sure that uh, the game goes in all the way and it goes in the right way so if you put, try to put the game in like this and, and turn the system on I don't have my TV on right now but it, it actually will not work you actually have to have the game in this direction and you can't just set it in there, you gotta push it in and make sure it's in good before you turn on the system now let's take the game out and talk more about the system now so what the system has is this box uh, where you put the game and the four controllers you could have up to four controllers in the um, front of the system and we already talked about the controllers and the games uh, oh, um, let's talk about the things that plug into the back of the system this is the H uh, actually not HDMI it's a component cable <clears throat> that goes to your television set this thing goes to the wall for um, uh, for the elect for the power for the system now you're thinking like what's this thing say and you can read it there it says memory expansion so if you press this thing it opens up and it has a little black uh, looks like another cartridge in there now I'm not going to take it out now but if you if you take it out, the system won't work anymore. But there's some games that need a, a red kind of cartridge that you put in there instead of this black one. Uh, but I don't have that. I don't have any of those stupid games, so we're not going to worry about that right now. So don't even worry about buying that. Now I'm going to unplug the controller and flip this over and show you guys something else that's cool about this system. There's a thing here. And you're like, what goes in there? Can a game go in there? It's like, no. As you can see, it's too small to fit a game in there. And it's not a... I've tried even like a Nintendo Entertainment System game and also a Super Nintendo Entertainment System game and none of those go in there either. I looked it up on the internet and I guess it's actually a thing that was released only in Japan called the so that is my walkthrough of what the nintendo 64 hardware is like if you guys like this video and have any other um 
councils that you want me to do these uh, walkthroughs of and tell you about the history of, please post it in the comment section below and I'll do that when I, when I get around to it. Also, the Nintendo 64 came out in 1996.